across Australia, the support for the union is, is immense. Uh, there's been polls that show 70% of the population support Julian not, not being extradited from the UK. Um, there's a Friends of Julian group that has 30 members, uh, including in Parliament, including um, the Deputy Prime Minister and, you know, our, our, our the other Nazi that has, has made statements in support of Julian as well. So, you know, I think uh, if he comes back to Australia and there are renewed, some renewed charges brought against him, that uh, there, there will be, you know, uh, the population, he has the support of the population here as far as I, I can see. So I think that affords him some political protection uh, in this country, which is why uh, we're pushing for Australia to um, intervene uh, at this time. Uh, last week, uh, the magistrate in the UK signed the extradition order and sent that to Priti Patel. So at this very moment, between April 20 and May 18, uh, there is no legal uh, proceeding happening in the UK, and that means uh, there is the case becomes entirely political. And so Priti Patel, the Home Secretary, has the opportunity now to refuse the extradition order, and she can, uh, and, and it's an opportunity for the Australian government uh, to. Uh, talk to Priti Patel and say, you know, you have to reject this, we can come up with a political solution, uh, basically. And, and there's precedent for it in the past. The Theresa May uh, rejected another uh, person who was, he, he was going to be extradited to the US. Uh, he had similar uh, medical condition as Julian, uh, severe depression and um, Asperger's syndrome. And she rejected uh, that extradition. Theresa May did the ex prime minister when she was so secretary. So there is a precedent there, and so it's a really crucial time, not only because of our election, but also because there is no legal proceeding at the moment, which is in the past what the government has hid behind. Uh, they said, "Oh, there's an ongoing legal uh, legal proceeding. You know, we we can't interfere in that." Well, that's that's not the case anymore. Uh, so it's a crucial time now for. Uh, you know, people to let their candidates and their MPs know that they care about this and they want something done about it.